Hey, what is up guys? And, and today we're going to be showing you how to get HD video off your console without a capture card. Now, this won't work on every game. I know a lot of people are going to want to work on Minecraft, but it won't. It will, however, work on Black Ops 2, I believe Black Ops 1, and MW3 as well, because we're going to be using the theater mode. Now, it's not going to be the normal upload to YouTube thing, but we will first have to link our YouTube account to this. Now, I suggest using your secondary YouTube account, as I'll be doing, because you don't want these garbage videos uploaded on your main YouTube account. So, I suggest using your secondary YouTube account for this. So you get a code, it tells you to go to this website, blah blah blah. You just go to the website and after you have done it on your computer it will say connecting to YouTube and eventually it will load up your account being connected. And we'll go back to this menu now. Your account has been connected successfully. I would assume so at least if you went back to that screen now I'd go to the theater and select a film. Now I've already edited my film but if your film's not yet edited Obviously, you need to edit it first. The films have to be less than two minutes when you upload them to YouTube, where we'll be downloading them from. So, yes, you can make an entire ten-minute gameplay. You'll just have to upload five different films. Now, you, as you just saw, I just selected to render the film, and I had to save it in one of three spots. Now, obviously, those three spots will get filled, but you can just delete them and then open up the opportunity to get more of them. So now, it is now rendering the video. And I'm going to get out of here because this is actually going to take a while. And depending on the length of the film, it could take even longer. This is only about a 30-second clip right here. Okay, so my first video has just finished rendering. It is now uploaded to YouTube and Call of Duty Elite. Nobody cares it's been uploaded to Call of Duty Elite. But now I will go into select film. I'm going to pick my next film. And I'm going to end up putting together a little bit of a montage kind of thing. Now, like I said, you could take two minutes of your gameplay. Then take the following two minutes if you wanted to do you know, a ten minute gameplay. You'd have to break it up into two minutes a piece. So I'm going into render film again, or render video rather. And, oh, actually, I didn't go into the right one, so we're going to have to go end film. Head back out here, and you see I go to render video. Or, after I pick the correct film, I'll end up going to render video. Okay, so I click on render video. And, again, I only have three spots, but after this I will show you how to delete the spots that you don't need. After you've already uploaded it, you obviously do not need the spot anymore, and you only have room for three, so you have to make openings. So after I get this one uploaded, I will then show you how to do that and what to do on your PC. So now this one is rendering, and I will get out of here and let this one go. Okay, so that one has uploaded now to YouTube and Call of Duty Elite. So I now have two clips of which I will be merging on my computer, putting in HD, adding some commentary if I want to. And we're back to Call of Duty TV. Now watch as I go to my channel. And there will be green videos that will say video on, and they will have the name of the clip that you uploaded to YouTube. So press X and you can delete those. This way you can make room for uploading more clips. So I'm missing out delete the other one. Okay, so I have them both deleted. And now I'm going to head on to my PC and show you guys what to do next. Alright. Okay, so if you head on to YouTube and get logged in, like you probably already have done because you had to log in or to link your account, you will see, and I have a very blurry picture of it, that what we did is now we've uploaded those clips to YouTube. They're in HD. I've actually renamed them because the normal naming is going to be your gamer tag, blah, blah, game clip, Black Ops 2, or Black Ops 1, or whatever game you're on. But now, normally you'd hit the drop down arrow next to edit and you'd be able to download the mp4 well that does not work for these call of duty clips so we're gonna have to go do this another way so i'm gonna show you the website you go to okay so now we're gonna go on keepvid.com i'll be linking it in the description you'll want to take the link to your video and paste it into that box and now it'll be loading your java applet and you'll have to you'll have to accept this you'll have to accept to run this check the box and say i accept to run and then it will allow you to download. You're going to want to choose the MP4 720p file, which is going to be the biggest file, but it's going to be of the best quality. So that's one we want to go with here. And then it will give you the download box. Click OK, and you can proceed with downloading it wherever you would like. And once it is done downloading, proceed to downloading your next video, and every one of them will be the same. Just keep pasting a link into the box and then downloading the 720p video. Alright, now we've opened up Windows Movie, or uh, 
Windows Movie Maker or whatever editing software you're going to be using. I'm using Windows Movie Maker because it's the one that most people own. So I've trimmed up the video, gotten rid of the weird pauses at the front. I'm going to kind of split this up, you know, kind of separate the two Nuketown clips and put the one from Standoff with the RCXD in the middle. And then I'm just going to have like a death montage at the end. And I'm going to shrink all of the audio for all of this down to nothing and put in music. You could put in commentary. This is where it gets into where you could put in commentary if you wanted to. If you were looking to do, you know, commentary videos like we do. So I'm just shrinking down the audio, basically muting it for the gameplay audio. This way I can go put in some music and I will show you guys where I get my music. You could use this music obviously for anything. Now I get it from Newgrounds Audio. If you just Google Newgrounds Audio, I'll also link it in the description. You have to give credit to the authors of the audio, but that's easy enough. Just throw it in the description and I typically link it to their audio as well. So I'm just gonna pick out some dubstep here, download it and show you guys where you get the author information if you were to link that in the description because I'm sure the author of the sound or audio would greatly appreciate that. So there's a big yellowish box that says download. So I'm going to click download on that and we are going to get that download started. Now as you can see in the audio player it just showed you the name of the guy who made the audio otherwise is on the left side underneath the advertisement and rating if you want to credit them which I strongly suggest because it is kind of a rule now I can just go back into Windows Movie Maker and I'll drop in the audio by clicking on add music okay so then you select the location where the audio is saved on your computer which happens to be my download folder because I just downloaded it so now instead of having the game music I have that music from you know actual music now I'll show you guys how to use WavePad you could also use Audacity they're both free audio recorders I always use WavePad now in order to use WavePad to record like a commentary or something you just have to hit the red circle in the bottom hit OK and you'll hit the red circle again begin talking into your mic and then you'll have your audio you just X out of the box when you're done or hit the square rather and then X out and then you can save that as a file. Now you have your audio recording. You can also use your iPod or iPad and then email the audio recording to yourself because there are tons of free audio recording apps for iOS or Android. So you could just do it that way. Your quality might be a little bit worse because you're recording on your phone speaker or your iPod speaker, but it would be a good way still to get a commentary going. So I'm just going to paste that on in by adding music at current position. And now I will save the video. I'm just going to save it as a basic four computer video. I did save it in 720 and test it, but saving it in 720 creates a ginormous black box around the edges. So we're just going to save this and I will get back to you and show you what to do next as you will have some black bars in this you'll have to take off. Okay, so after your video has saved, you're going to want to go into a Vidimux, which I have linked in the description, a very helpful program for keeping your videos in 720p. Now, if you were using some other editor other than Windows Movie Maker, you probably wouldn't have to do this because you will already have the uh, 720p video just as an exporting option in anything other than Windows Movie Maker. So we're going to go into the video um, video stuff on the left side and click on crop and click on SW resize and on crop we're just going to auto crop and on SW resize we're going to uncheck uh, the aspect ratio one and then change it to 1280 by 720 which will create a picture somewhat like this which you're seeing as being much better quality than what Windows Movie Maker was spitting out so now under audio you're going to change it to mp3 lame and we're just going to leave the filters and stuff the way I have it, which is the default way, so you shouldn't actually need to change this at all. And then you're going to want to click save and just give it some sort of name. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this helped. And if you're going to make a YouTube channel using this method, I would like to know, and I would like to see your videos, see how it's working for you. All right, thanks for watching, guys.